Felters and welcome. This video is going to be about monthly makes and what I get up to during the month. I watch a lot of studio vlogs of illustrators and artists and I love seeing all their creations and how they go about them. But there aren't many needle felters doing this so I thought I would do one and also I'm going to feature some of your monthly makes towards the end as well. So do keep watching, I hope you enjoy it. If you did see the studio vlog you'll see that my PDFs were selling quite well and I literally only had three. So I need to up my PDFs because I think that's a really uh, good way of bringing in income in a passive way. So I have designed these little guys. So these are my petal sheep and there's one more. There we go. Yeah, I've got so many animals down here. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so these are my petal sheep and I've done a PDF on them and you have got little flowers and you can do them in whatever colour you want. And they're really easy and simple to do. Um, and I've put that one on and it's, no one's bought it yet, it's been on for a couple of days, but it's in like four people's baskets. So that's really, really good. And then I've got these guys, just lining them up. Ta -da! So these are my Highland, Highland Cow Trio. And let me just put the black one down. The black one's a little bit odd, but they've got lovely little tails, and nice little heads. And again, they're really easy to do. And um, I was waiting for the wool for the black one to finish him. See, so he's a little bit... You do get black highland cows, but it's not very distinct, but he's okay. But the other two are really cute. So I've uh, got to do the PDFs on those. Um, and then another PDF I'm doing is my valet sheep. Uh, everyone loves a valet and I do lots of valets, but my valets are quite, um, quite tricky and you have to have valet wool. Whereas these ones you don't, you can just use normal wool and there's going to be two different styles. Sorry, he's got his ears pinned on ready, but, um, I'm just waiting for the rest of the wool because I ran out of the wool, which always happens, doesn't it? So um, I've got most of the PDF done for those guys. And then this is somebody else I did and I think she's really lovely. Um, so I'm going to maybe do a video for her because she's got clay hooves as well. So it's a little bit trickier, but she's got a nice face, lovely coat, nice little tail. Um, and I was really pleased. The face is a lot better because sometimes the faces can make or break it. So I spent a lot more time on the face, which I should do because the faces of these, whoop, whoop, they're all falling. That was one of the Highland cows. You guys have seen that video. Um, see the faces, if you put a bit of effort into a face, it's a, it makes a big difference. So that's quite a basic face, but that's a lot more involved where you do the eyelids. But um, yeah really pleased with that one and I've just put her on Etsy so we'll see how long that lasts and then um, also something that I'm making at the moment uh, oh stay with me so I did um, a prototype so I got sent some wool from Crafty Fibres the company that I work with and it's beautiful wool it's so lovely and I've got two types of that um, those colors so this is the blended one and this is the slightly less blended so I did a prototype of this lady um, it's not exactly how it would be that I would be happy I'd have thinner arms and I did the hair slightly differently but she is quite sweet um, fairies there's so many fairies out there they're so gorgeous they're really really colorful but actually I kind of think she's not really me because I really do stick to my cow's sheep and horses and sort of animals like that so I've changed my mind and I'm just sort of doesn't look very good I'm going to do a Highland cow face with those colors so it's sort of a, a cream oh there we go I've got a loose one so sort of a cream Highland cow I think that will look really nice and um, I'll show you a bit of footage of me making this one up so that's my makes so far and we're on the 7th of February <laughs> here they all are on the table it's like a little farm, isn't it? And it snowed again. I think it's about the fifth time this year.
just um, coming along with this guy, getting towards the end. I've done his horns, and uh, this is all the fluffy bit. And you kind of just get to this point, and you're like, oh, I just don't want to ruin it. So hopefully, I'll keep going. Hopefully, he'll look all right with his little mouth. And he's done. And he um, is lovely. I really like him. So I'm going to keep him. I had some lovely comments about him. And he's going to feature in the back of my videos in the future. So thank you Crafty Fibres for the Camel Blend Mix. It's super, super soft and I'm really happy with him. So here's the two valet sheep all finished. The wool arrived and it's um, the same wool but it's two different effects and the PDF has been up. It's been um, already been purchased by a couple of people so I am really pleased with the valet sheep. So I'm just um, sitting here and making this sheep's head at the moment. I put all my needles in here. I find it a lot, lot easier because I'd have them in the corner of my mat and then especially when I'm filming I'd be turning it over because when I'm filming you can't see uh, a white head so I put it on the grey side but anyway so I've put everything in here and um, yeah really enjoying that's just um, a ball of uh, felted wool and that's working really well and then I just move it around with me so he's made done his feet neck I'm just doing the head and I have found this wool and just going to try and create um, another effect with this. I think I might just do it cut or I might try and sort of fold it, loop it over. Looping it over might take an awful lot of work. So I'll see how that one goes. Here's the sheep. Um, I'm just, I've done his head. Just going through whether to put the wool on that way or that way. And it's supposed to be a herd rip. So I know his coat's probably got to be like that, which is a lot quicker, really. This one's quite time-consuming, but it feels beautiful. So I think I'll just pull that off. I have begun. It's going to take a while. Here we are the next day, and I've just been doing quite a bit more. Um, I'm getting there. I'm really enjoying it. Obviously, yeah, I could have done a... Uh, sort of tops type wool and that would have made it look obviously very realistic. I did a, a Herdwick a while ago with actual Herdwick wool and it was so tricky because it had loads of guard hairs in it and even once I'd really felted it bits were always falling out but I just wanted to have a play around with the wool so um, yeah I'm really uh, liking it so far. Got up quite early this morning as you can tell because I'm looking a bit tired now. 10 o'clock and we've just got to go out to the post office but I finished him and I'm really happy with him um, had to do a lot of trimming to get the coat to look because it looked so fluffy but yeah there's my little version of a Hardwick so I think I'll pop him on Etsy sometimes I like them too much but um, I'm gonna have to I'll pop him on Instagram um, yeah, just to show you, I ordered a load of stuff and I can't believe it because it's all turned up on the same day. And I ordered it all from uh, quite a few different places and it's been weeks. And then all of a sudden it's all turned up. So I'm just going to show you all these things. They're really, really good. Um, this is a map that I've ordered and I've got my name on it, which is really nice that you could personalise it. But there's a lady I follow her studio blog called Fizz and Flourish and her name is Megan and she is really lovely. And she has a map on the wall and wherever her orders go, she marks it on the map to, to sort of, it's just a really nice feeling to see where your things are going. So I messaged her and said, is it all right if I steal your idea? And she said, absolutely, yes, we should be proud of our small businesses and what they do. So I've got this lovely map and I've got some red stickers coming just to show you. I live about there, just outside of Manchester, about 40 minutes from Manchester. So that's really good. I'm really pleased with that and we're gonna try and put it on the wall. And then I just got this little white, it's a plastic tree, but it's for craft fairs and it's to put all my hanging baubles on, especially when I go, but I quite like it there. And then I got this sign, which I'm so happy with. And it's just so beautiful. And that's going to go behind my chair when, when I do videos.
just to prove that <laughs> I do stab myself. There we go, blood. Haven't drawn blood in ages. Oh, not too bad. There we go. This is, I'm just doing this um, grey cow. Um, and this is the unsightliness of all the glue and trying to get these horns into place. And then I have these pinning it into the right shape and I'm just going to leave that to dry. Not very pretty, but it'll look good in the end. Here they are both finished. So the one on the left was for a friend and the grey cow was for a lady. I promised to do her something after Christmas and then I forgot and she uh, sent me a little message the other day. So I had to quickly do that one for her. Really happy with them both. Just doing the map quickly, putting all the dots on and you can't see, but my daughter is helping me because it was so hard trying to find everywhere. Here we are, just done all the dots. And lots in America, Florida. I had to give up on the UK because it would just cover it all. And then there's a few in Europe. And then there's one down in Australia. And I think there's a few more. I've managed to get most on. But there we go. Really happy with that. Thank you, Fizz and Flourish. Morning. It's the 17th of February. So we're over halfway through. You've seen some of my makes so far. The next one I'm doing is a commission of a border terrier. Obviously the colour doesn't look quite borderish. It's going to have a coat. I've done a practice with the fur. Um, I'm not very confident with dogs. It's probably going to be my last commission. It's for a lovely lady. I couldn't say no to her and I hope it comes out well. I'm doing a separate video for that. I will show you the table in a sec because it's a border terrier and they've got a real mix of colours in their coat and I I have to, I've got so many colours out basically to try and work it out, but I'll show you that in a minute. Hopefully that eagle-eyed among you will have noticed something. It's all done, so I'm really happy with it. I've got my sign up, I've got some of my nicer felts up there, and then when I do um, online tuition, I will be doing it eventually, getting round to it. Um, I've got a nice backdrop, I've just probably got to sort out the wool on the door because that doesn't look so good. Let me show you the table. So here's the table. Um, I bought a couple of lovely colours from Sweet Pea Dolls, which I'm really happy, uh, this one and this one that are going to go together. But then I've got all the darks over here because there's some black in it. And then I've got some browns. Um, and this is the base coat that I'm using just to, to get it on. But yeah, see how many you sort of have to select just for this one little felt. So hopefully that will go well. Have a look at the video for that. So this is the finished Pebbles and I was uh, really pleased and the owner is really pleased as well. Pebbles passed away um, about five, five or six years ago, um, but she's really happy with what I've created and I'm going to be, well, Pebbles is on her way over to Canada as we speak. Hi, so it's the 24th of February and I finally managed to... Um, I showed you these guys at the beginning and I finally managed to remake one and take photos for the PDF because PDFs are just such hard work and I really put them off. Um, and I have got um, a horse head that I'm doing at the moment, which is a custom order, but the chap is really um, flexible, so that's fine. So I'm doing it bit by bit, but sometimes you just get a bit fed up of um, doing a felt and you just want to break out. And so... Um, I've done the PDF, but I had this, sorry to move you about, this lovely wool and so I'm going to make a, a sitting down Highland cow because I think it'll look really good. But does anyone else get to this stage? So I put everything on loosely and then I go round and firm it up and this is the therapeutic stage that I kind of really enjoy. It does take a while, I don't know, a good hour I suppose, but I kind of really enjoy that stage. Does anyone else get like that? So, um... He looks a bit silly, but we'll see how he goes. Hopefully he'll turn out good. Morning, Felters. It's the 26th of February and I finished him. So um, he looks a bit more orange, I think, on camera than he actually is or red. But he's um, he is actually quite a nice colour. Um, but yeah, I finished him. I'm really happy, actually. When I was going along, I felt uh, I wasn't sure how he was going to come out when you're doing the lower half. But most most of them come together when you do the head. So um, just keep going with your projects if you're sort of looking at them and thinking, mm, I'm not sure if it's working. But yeah, so I was really happy with him. He's quite big. Um, I'm going to stick him on Instagram and Etsy. I'm still not sure of price. I'm still debating that in my head. 
um, especially because when you put something on Etsy, you have to include, I have free shipping to the UK, uh, the costs, the packaging, the materials and the time. So, you know, pricing things is hard, even still for me, especially with the larger items. I really struggle to put things on that are too expensive. I feel, would I pay that much? But then I know how much work's gone into it. Anyway, so I'm really happy with him. He's really sweet. Um, the only thing I'm finishing for the rest of the month is that horse's head. Um, so I'm probably going to round up the monthly makes, but we're going to have a look at some of yours. So let's see what you've been making. So here we are. This is the first one. And this is Casey, who has done one of my tutorials, which is the donkey one. And it's brilliant. And she's only just started as well. I think this is one of her first felts. And he's perfect. He's exactly how I did him. Apart from the eyes, and the eyes are better. I really like them like that. So I think that's fantastic. Well done, Casey. And so this here is um, Joanna, and she has a company, a business called My Woolen Friends. I think she's on Etsy. But look at these guys. These are the Highland cows that I did. And you, I think you will probably all know I'm more than happy for you to make and sell them uh, yourself. And she has taken it and look how neat they are. They are absolutely fantastic. And she's done lots of different colours, but I just thought they came out looking so good. And I'll just show you some of her other stuff because she is excellent. Her work is really neat. There's the one she did in black. She's done a couple more. And look at that sheep that's just going to him. Isn't he lovely? So he's a cutie. So um, her work's lovely. Really, really nice. Looking at this all together. Look how neat these ones are. Yeah, beautiful work, Joanna. Brilliant job. And um, this is the last one I'm going to show you. This is Jules, who I um, started seeing some of her work and then we were talking on Instagram. And she has only been felting since August. And look at these dogs. It was really this dog that caught my eye. He's called Webster and he's the cutest. But look at his jumper. Isn't it cute? And she's needle felted all of that. It's absolutely amazing. So I asked if she wouldn't mind. So Jules Felt Like It is her um, Etsy shop. She's very busy making lots of dogs. Let's show you some of the other dogs. Look at that little cutie. This one. There was one I was really going to get. This one, that one. Look at him. He's beautiful. This is one of her latest. And she hasn't been felting long. That's amazing. So um, she says she really enjoys uh, the happiness it brings people when you felt their dogs. It, it really, really does. So this one, look at him as well. So beautiful. So much character in the face. And then the shape is excellent and lovely wool. So she really, really captures it. So Jules, I think you should be doing some online tutorials or something. These are excellent. So there we go. Thanks so much guys for letting me share those with everybody. Um, I'll put the two business ones down below with their Etsy shops, which is My Will and Friends and Jules Felt Like It. Um, if you want to be featured next month, send me a photo on Instagram and I would love to feature uh, something that you've made that you've felt it that you're really proud of. It doesn't have to be anything to do with my tutorials. It could just be any little thing that you've made. Um, and I would love to feature some of your mates next month. Um, I'm going to round it up here because you've seen what I've been doing for most of the month. I've only got that horse to finish and I have to edit this video and get it out there. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring in places and hopefully we'll see you next month. Take care, everybody.